Hey everybody, this is Death Merchant 37 Welcome back to the Empire Total War Let's Play with the Auburn Empire. I just want to thank everybody for checking that out. Um, definitely if you like what you see, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment for me. I always enjoy comments. Um, yeah, so I was recording this earlier and then my screen recorder shut down or the game shut down. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but these next couple of videos, I think I'm going to do like two shorter ones, like two like 20 minute videos, um, because they're mostly going to be development turns, to be, per to, to be perfectly honest. Um, actually, that, now that we've finished off Venice, there's like, I had unlocked a lot of different technologies um, that I just need to actually use. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not like I'm not sure what happened. I was just in the middle of recording and then it just shut down. So I'm not sure what's going on, but I think I got it fixed now. Anyway, like, while I was recording, I was talking about this insane Super Bowl game. Actually, you know what? The game wasn't insane. It was actually a really great game. Like I was, I'm not you know a football expert by any means. I mean, I kind of I watch football because other people I know watch football and it's something to talk about. But I really enjoyed watching that game right until the Seahawks cost themselves a Super Bowl win because they ran a slant at the one yard line, which doesn't make it didn't make any sense. And after Pete Carroll like explained what he was trying to do, I was like, I would have just like if you wanted to to get something incomplete and to use a down. I would have run the ball anyway. I mean, you got a guy whose name, whose nickname is Beast Mode on your team. He's right back there. You're at the one. I mean, what more do you want? Like, <laughs> I, was like I was like, his explanation was like, it was almost like saying, well, we wanted to win later instead of right now, you know? I mean, because if you score, you know, the Pats would have had like 20, 25 seconds, and Tom Brady would have needed... I mean, you could run to maybe three plays in that amount of time, you know, with a with a no huddle. But, I mean, Tom Brady would have had to win the game because the amount of time it takes for your offense to get off the field and your special teams to get on, I don't think they'd have had that kind of time. So, you know, I would have let the Patriots try to get a miracle to win the game as opposed to, you know, doing what they did, and which ended up costing them the game, honestly. That I wrote a wrote a slight wrote a piece about that on my blog, uh, cleanboardproject.com, and it was just I I quoted a bunch of different um, like I quoted like Stephen A. Smith and Michael Bobon and a few other ESPN anchors that I that I follow on Twitter, and yeah it was just ridiculous. I was like how and even they were saying you know like how would you make a call like that and not give it to Lynch you know so I, like, so I feel like somebody. I mean, Pete Carroll might not get fired, um, but someone someone's going to get sacked over that. Like, if it's going to be an offensive coordinator, it's going to be somebody is going to lose their job because Seattle Seahawks fans are going to demand that someone lose their job. Like, that's how that's going to work. All right, so I'm going to build some roads. Yeah, definitely try to improve the road system. It helps your, I mean, your armies get better movement speed over your territories. And I pretty much have improved the, I was able to improve the roads while I was at war. So a lot of the roads have already been worked on. Um, yeah, metal roads always helps. And that's, and that's the last infrastructure upgrade. So after, after all the, all the provinces I own currently are all converted to metal roads. You're not going to see any more, any more road building. I don't know. I feel like in the in the 17th century. Well, I guess in the 17th century there weren't really like national highways yet. That's really more 19th or sorry, we're in the 18th century. Yeah, in the 17th century there definitely were not the kind of national highway systems that in the way that we think of them today. But in this game, it takes place in the 18th century, and I think at the it would, it would have been like towards the end of the 18th century that you really would have had like larger, wider roads, especially because the militaries at that time were much started to become very large. And I'd like to, I would like to see what they do, what they do if they make an empire too, which I really hope happens, um, because this game is really good. 
I would just like to see, because it it goes from 1700 to 1800 historically. I would like to see something that would, you know, if, if Empire Two could very easily be, you know, 1700 to you know like 1870 would be kind of interesting, or like 1750 to 1870, you know, something where, you know, this style of combat was still used, but you really had more technologies, you had more. Um, definitely kind of more steam powered battleships more um, yeah just like more of kind of what's already there I think would be good um, let me see we built a lot of farms yeah I don't know there's just there's, a, there's there's some things that I would like to that I would like to see in addition to um, I'd like to get better I'd like to get more units I mean honestly if the game if the regular game looked like Darth Maud I would be super happy which I know they can't really do just because, you know, they have to take into consideration, you know, the different levels of, or the different kind of calibers of machine that are going to run Empire, but, you know, if it could all be like Darth Maud, I wouldn't complain about that at all. Because for the time being, I am in among the number <laughs> with a good computer. Even though, like I said, I'm definitely... Recording this series has definitely helped me realize that, yeah, I've got to get, a, I think, just a dedicated gaming desktop down. I think that's what's going to be required. Um, just because I already have, I mean, I have a gaming laptop, which is what I'm playing on now, and it runs okay. I mean, definitely when I play when I play this game without the recording software, it runs beautifully. Um, I can pretty much I can actually can turn up the graphic settings that I'm using because right now I'm mostly on high because I'd like it to still be detailed. Um, but I can't turn on like all the special effects. But when I'm just playing the game normally, yeah, I can turn on all the special effects all day and it just runs fine. Um,